Now we'll look at the checkboxes template in SharePointDashboards.com. First thing you should do when you're in this template is look at the available theme options. After that, you can adjust the colors and make whatever selections you want until the checkbox options look exactly how you want. Note the field name is required. The interactive functionality will not work with that. So in SharePoint, I have a field called build and I need to make sure I enter that in for that field. Note in the guide section, there are many checkbox options. So be sure to look through those options and select uh, whichever look you want to use for your own icons. You can use these suggestions or use the find icon option to go and look through different options available from Microsoft. Once everything looks how you want in the template tool, go ahead and click the copy code button. Once in SharePoint, I need to go to the column header, select column settings, then format this column. Go to advanced mode, remove the existing code, and paste in your code from SharePoint dashboards. Notice the appearance of that yes, no column has changed. Also, because the interactive mode was selected in the template options, I can click on that column to change it directly from the list view. If I don't want to use interactive mode, I would simply disable this checkbox, which makes it so that this checkbox is not changed by the user in the list view.